What is a catonomy? Catonomy is uh, a taxonomy with built-in categorizations to apply the taxonomy. Why do you need that? Um, well, because there is what's called the gap. It's the gap between the taxonomy and the documents to which it's applied. Um, and that's a gap that has been plaguing taxonomy um, for as long as taxonomy has existed. So um, a catonomy works for all types of taxonomies, um, from simple to, to hundreds of thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of terms. It works for subject taxonomies, um, which is still one of the really um, key types of taxonomies, but it also works for things like actions or motivations. We did a project where we did a taxonomy of motivations for why people were calling customer support. Um, you can also say sentiment and, um, and thing taxonomies. Um, catologies is another word we can throw in there too because it's not just taxonomies but ontologies that need to be applied to documents. Um, the limits to text analytics in general and catonomies are, are really twofold. One is cost. Um, the software tends not to be cheap um, and um, it, it's not a simple matter sim to develop the kinds of rules that you need to apply um, your taxonomies and, and catonomies um, and catologies to documents. Um, that's actually coming way down. The cost is coming way down because um, we're productizing the whole process of developing these kinds of rules. Um, you know, eight, even like say eight years ago, every single job was a total custom job. You really couldn't build on what other people had done before. And so now we're beginning to build more and more resources, being able to put them together, being able to build um, applications and, and particularly rules much simpler and faster. Um, one way of doing that, one of the ways we found particularly powerful is to build templated kinds of rules where specifically you separate the logic of the rule from the vocabulary. One of the things that makes all this area so difficult to, 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 to use and develop is if you've got vocabularies that are, are tens of thousands of terms, or even just hundreds of terms, um, and you're trying to then apply those to documents, um, if one term changes, then the whole system changes. And so what you end up doing, you separate out the logic that tells you what words are important, um, and then you build these little um, vocabulary modules that just can be plugged in. The other really big key to making all this work better is to realize that there is no such thing as unstructured content. All content has structure. It's got words, it's got sentences, it's got paragraphs, and more importantly, almost all of them have some kind of a section structure to them. And if you can capture that section structure in rules, then you can start looking at the individual pieces of documents and building rules of, around those rather than trying to look at the entire document, which almost is impossible to say, what is this document about? Well, it's about a couple hundred things. Um, what are the important things? Well, there's maybe 20 or 30 important things. So the important thing is to be able to look at the sections of the document um, and focus on what those sections are and then build up from there.